Welcome. Welcome to the Toshi and Pete Grove. I'm Roy. And I'm Sue. We're the activist coordinators for Revival each year. And uh, we wanted to uh, invite you to walk through Pete and Toshi's Grove. We set this up a few years ago after Pete and Toshi passed to help people who really weren't familiar with them to learn a little more about them and to see what their life was about and where Clearwater has gotten because of, of everything they've done. And for those of us who were pretty intimate and close to them, just to reflect. Yeah, so we just invite you to come on in. It's a really peaceful environment and to contemplate Toshi and Pete's legacy and motivate you to move it forward. So, come on in. So, we have uh, a nice shot of uh, the Earth Ball that we have, we put up every year at, uh, at the festival. And uh, it's on uh, the same sheet that we have, Turn, 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 the song that Pete wrote. Uh, it's been, you know, sung by everybody and well known around the world. And Toshi wrote some lyrics to Turn, Turn, Turn for her, just for herself and the family, uh, which are really sweet. Uh, just read one of them to you. She says, a time to get, a time to give, a time to remember, a time to forgive, a time to hug, a time to kiss, a time to close your eyes and wish. Really sweet lyrics of her husband's Turn, Turn, Turn song. That's our Toshi. Just want to point out some of the arts, the uprights here we have all throughout the grove and the the big entrance sign you saw come on on in that was made by the sign painting crew at Clearwater. All the signs at Revival are made by this wonderful art artistic uh, sign painting committee and we really appreciated their involvement in the creation of the Grove. We have a few uh, posters of Pete's early life, uh, family, a lot of music. Uh, he came from a musical family. He uh, was in World War II and did a lot of music kind of interspersed the grove with some really wonderful sayings that Pete has done. So we hope you can enjoy some of those along this little tour here. As you know, Pete was a huge activist. Um, and we have just a little clip here about him meeting Martin Luther King. And Rosa Parks, Ralph Abernathy. Uh, Pete spent time with a lot of major political activists in the, in the I land the Research and Education Center in Tennessee, which done, has done tremendous work over the years. Once they decided to build the sloop, it was just an exciting time. Uh, it was built in Maine, and they sailed it down. But Toshi, you were telling me, was the real sailor. She's the one who taught Pete to sail, and he just fell in love with sailing, and obviously fell in love with the Hudson River, and uh, Clearwater was born. And that's why the river is in much better shape today than it was many, many years ago. And a lot more work to be done. We had to include this story in the Grove. It's just so quintessentially Pete when he was invited to sing in Barcelona when Franco's government was in charge. And when he got there, they told him they wanted to see his set list and he, they said, I'm sorry, you can't play any of these songs. So Pete, being Pete, went out to the audience, which had you know thousands of people in this huge outdoor stadium and he said, I'm sorry, I can't sing any of these songs, but you might all know him. And he just started playing his songs and everybody in the stadium sang all the songs. All 100,000 people. Yeah. Uh, the government wasn't happy, but... His that, songs were heard. That's who Pete was. That's who Pete was. Mm -hmm. Pete and Toshi, they started raising money at picnics along the river to uh, build a boat. And um, they decided to start a festival on the river. And that's how Revival was born. Uh, Toshi and Pete created this a wonderful, wonderful event. Toshi started a litter picking group at the festival, which morphed into recycling, and now it's turned into zero waste. Which, which, uh, the Great Hudson River Revival has gotten awards for how we are into zero waste. So she was ahead of her time. She's a huge force in Revival. So we have the story here about Pete um, being called up before the House and American Activities Committee. And Pete fought for seven years because he was convicted and was sentenced to go to jail, but he fought for seven years um, and it was finally resolved. But Pete was one of the many people who was hugely impacted, hugely in his family too, by the goings on of that committee. Uh, part of the time, uh, at that time, he was out of work 
uh, they were real, a lot of struggles that they had. And he spent a lot of time in Canada. Uh, the Canadians absolutely loved him. In fact, they have their own verse to this land is your land. Instead of from our part of the country to the east coast to the west coast, they have their own verse in Canada for the same song. Uh, one, we have one entertainer uh, at the, at the uh, virtual revival, David Celia, who is from Toronto, who came purposefully to represent all Pete's friends and acquaintances from up there and musicians. So uh, look forward to that. Yeah. Thanks for coming. We'll see you at the revival. Please uh, support Clearwater uh, in any way you can. We really would appreciate it uh, to help support us with the continued work we have to do to make uh, our world safer and healthier. So we'll see you soon. Peace. Take care.